Hello, Hal. Hello, Jade and Luke. So, to help you with your literacy, I know you're learning about fruits around the world and you've got to write some adjectives. So I thought I'd help you out by coming to the fruit market and showing you some of some fruits from Thailand and I can give you some adjectives that you can use as well. Now, I have to wear a mask because of Corona, but I'm going to wear it on my chin. So I'm going to show you some of the fruits that we've got in Thailand and they're very weird and wonderful. So, uh, this fruit is called a dragon fruit. And I'm going to put that in my basket and that one is weird and colourful and um, we've also got can we see at the back there pineapples pineapples are tangy and juicy I'm not going to buy a pineapple because I can't cook them um, we've got these are passion fruits. Passion fruits are um, absolutely delicious. We've got mangoes. Mangoes are sweet and yellow and excellent in smoothies. We've got papayas. And papayas you can have in salad and papaya is quite sour makes you go it's like sour and bitter these are called mango steam and they are white inside so you put the top bit off and they're white inside and they are sweet and quite sugary but also very tasty putting those in my basket how many have we done we've done dragon fruit mango papaya passion fruit mango steen pineapple um what else have we got let's have a look we've got Bananas. Now I've got some bananas in my house, so I'm not going to buy any bananas. But there's loads of different sorts of bananas in Thailand. These bananas are small and sweet. But you can also get more like English bananas. And they're soft and mushy. Um, and now at the back, I'm not going to buy one of these again because I can't cut it, but I'm just going to show you we've got watermelons and I would use the words fresh and lush to describe a watermelon and I'm sure you know what a watermelon looks like it's all pink inside and a really good word is succulent how many have we got there uh, one two three four five six seven um, see if we've got any different ones in fact I'm going to go to the vegetable market so I'm just going to pay for this I'm going to pause the video in fact you can watch me pay my alka so this is the lady that I buy the fruit from Sawadika <laughs> and I come to her all the time to buy fruit because it's very tasty Right, I'm going to press pause while I pay. Right, I've paid. Cop gun car. <laughs> now, I'm going to walk down the road. Now, there's a little, another little market down the bottom of this road that sells vegetables. So, we're going to go and buy the vegetables now. So, I'm going to pause and then I'm going to press play again in a sec. In fact, I'm going to show you this. So, this is what I have every day as well. All of the delicious fruits can be made into smoothies. And you see, all down my road that I live on, 
all fruit, little fruit and vegetable markets. There's the one there. Now, there is one caught sort of fruit that's called durian. I'll show you it if, it if it's at the next market. And it smells like vomit. The Thai people love it and we don't know why. And let me just cross the road. Loads of things are durian flavour. Honestly, Holes, it absolutely stinks. Right, I'm going to show you the market. I might have to put my mask on now. Hello. 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 Flower market. Now, can you see all the veg there? So I'm going to go in, I've got to wear my mask now, but I have my temperature taken, I think. So what do you care? This is what you have to do when you go anywhere. Write my name down. <laughs> and then I have to have my temperature taken. <laughs> Yeah, and we're going to look at the market. We've got fish, all this nice fruit and veg. I'm going to go around here. I'm going to find some veg that's Thai veg. Look at this. Do you know what they are? They're chicken's feet. Yeah. We don't like those, but the Thai people love them. So, this is the man, the lazy, is it the lazy today, the man? Swadi Ka. This is the market I always come to. Okay, Ka. And this, loads of vegetables. So I'm going to buy some Thai vegetables to show you. So, let's have a look what we've got. This is called Pat Choy. So I'm going to put some of that in. That is green and leafy. And we can have this is called Morning Glory. And this is, mm, how would I describe this? This tastes a little bit like green beans. And you have it in a sauce and it is healthy and tasty and let's get one more thing um oh i'm just going to show you this one i've got some of this in the house actually so that you can see it uh that there my alka is pumpkin and that when you cook it it's soft and mushy and it's a little bit like potato i've got some of that in the house so i'm just going to buy these things for now Like that. Mm -hmm. Put that in my basket. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to show you one more thing actually. I've got some of this in the house but I'll show you it. Hang on. Let me put my money away. Can you see? We'll go over here. Now this, that's ginger, that's really tangy and you quite often have that in um, like soups and things like that and then, oh look at this, 
Ô lê tỷ They're different types of chilies because the Thais love spicy food. So they they blow your head off, they do. They're spicy and hot. Right, I'm going to say bye now from the market and then I'm going to take photos of these fruits for you and give you some adjectives that you can use to describe them. And I'd love to see what you've done after. Maybe you could do me a little video back. See you later, Hal. Good luck with your learning. Bye.